I want to hit two birds with one stone here and talk about both the layout view and table formats, and in a way they are related, but I'll cover that in a minute. First of all, the layout view. The layout view is only available in your forms and reports, and you can see I'm in my book details form in the form view. We'll switch views in just a minute. Now the layout view is like the design view that it allows you to make design changes to a database element like your labels and the corresponding text boxes but in a more general format. It's not as detailed as the design view like not containing as many controls and features. In fact let's go ahead and do a quick comparison of those controls so you can see what I'm talking about and to switch views we can do it one of many ways. We can either come up here on the home tab to the views group and click on the drop down arrow to choose well our layout or design or you can right click on the tab choose it there or if you got a blank space here go ahead and right click on your form and switch your views or you can come down below on the status bar and there's the current view the form view there's the layout and there's the design let's go ahead and go to the layout view and one way you can tell you're in the layout view is well up at the top it says form layout tools and then down below whatever text box or label you select it's the only view that highlights it in orange in any case, let's come back up here. On the Design tab, you got your Controls group. Click on the More button. And what we're missing here that I know that's in the Design view in its Controls group is the Line Control, the Square Control, or the Rectangle, and also the Options. So let's go ahead and right-click and go to the Design view and come up here and click on the Design tab in the Design view. There's the Controls group. Click on More. It's got everything that we saw in the layout view, plus it's got, like I said, there we go, the rectangle, the line, and hover over that one, the options button. Cool, so we get more there. Let me go ahead and click off and right click, go back to the layout view. Now the one thing that I do like about the layout view is I can view my records while I'm setting the size of the text boxes or labels. More particularly the uh, text boxes because if that's the longest title, in the title field and I want to go ahead and make that text box a little bit tighter I can select it first of course and then come over to the right hand side until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions then click and drag that in and then if that's the longest record well let's go ahead and toggle through the records and it looks like it is so none of the other titles are being cut off as near as I can tell yet let's go ahead and go back to the first record and did you notice that when I resized this text box that all the others resized as well? And the reason why, and here's a good segue, is that a table format has been applied to the labels and the corresponding text boxes. How do I know if a table's been applied to it? Because if I select any one of these, you'll get a dashed line all the way around the text boxes and corresponding labels that comes up into a tag in the upper left hand corner. And if you watch my word training video on tables, it's the same thing. You get a tag there that when you click on it, it selects all the cells within the table. Now the good news is, is that if you have labels and text boxes all over the place, you can go ahead and select them all and then apply the table format to them. It'll quickly organize them for you in this stacked layout. The bad news is, is well, what you just saw, that what you do to one, it affects all the others because they're all grouped in this table format in the stacked layout. So, what can we do with this? We're in the layout view, come up here, click on the arrange tab, go to the table group, and it's got the stacked and the tabular, so I can go ahead and go from the current stacked layout to the tabular, but it doesn't give me anywhere in here the remove, so I can go ahead and move these independently, like, you know, the book number up here and its corresponding text box out a little further, or resize them independently. You can do it in the design view, where it has the remove feature there and also one other place that I'll show you in just a minute but while we're here let's go ahead and mess with this so it's in the stacked what's the tabular let me go ahead and click on it and well that's a mess and the reason why it's a mess is because let me hit the undo arrow of the selection if I want to include all of it in tabular then I need to select all so we need to come up here and click on the tag so it selects all the labels and the corresponding text boxes within the table and then click on tabular and there you go we've got the labels up at the top and the corresponding data fields or text boxes down at the bottom how does that look in form view well right click in a blank area go to form view and well, we've got some space over here and then gapage in between it and I have to scroll over it may work for you but if you want to clean this up just a bit let's right click in a blank area go back to the layout 
And let's go ahead and hover over like the label here until I can see a four-way arrow that I can go ahead and click and drag and bring it all over. Okay, looks a little bit better. And then how about moving the bottom up closer to the labels, their text boxes. If I try to go ahead and do it now with all of them selected and click and drag up, well, these guys are selected as well, so we got to click off and then click on the text box down below, then click and drag that up. But remember what I do to one, does it to all the others. How does that look? Right click in a blank area, go to the form view, and that's how it looks. Let's go ahead and right click, go back to the layout view, and while we're on the arrange tab and we've gone over the stacked and tabular, well let's go back to stacked. Now if I go ahead and select it right now with one cell selected, that's not going to be kosher. So let's go ahead and hit undo and click on that little tag in the upper left hand corner. Once you have it selected, go ahead and click on stacked and uh, it's kind of cut off. But again, we've got to grab the ear here, that little tag, hover over it until you can see a four-way arrow. Click and drag that so we can move it somewhere that I can see it a little bit better. And with it selected, let's come back up here on the arrange tab and talk about how about margins and padding. So you can do the margins of the data within the cells by clicking on the drop down arrow and make it narrow. Now let's do something more. How about something really exaggerated instead of narrow? Let's see if wide really, there we go. So the margin is really wide and it's pushing a wider margin, pushing the contents down below so I can't see it unless I hover over the bottom and stretch it out more. See it's, okay, it's doing it for that one. Let me click off and do it for this one. Now it's moving it independently. There we go. So I do get a little flexibility as far as that goes. But you see how much margin it's got, a wider margin from the top here, pushing the contents down more. So in any case, the data is not right next to the border. But if you want to go ahead and change that, click on the tag, and we can update that and go back to none. And then it squishes without any margins there. You can do it that way, or if you want to do it numerically for this, just right-click, and let's bring up the properties. And then over to the right, we're on the Format tab. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And there we go. We have the top margin, bottom, left, right. You know, you can do it numerically here if you don't want to go with the defaults here. Let's go ahead and close out. And then how about the padding? Click on the drop-down arrow. Now this is between the cells, the text boxes and labels. So let's go ahead and do something medium. So we get a little bit more space. Let's do something to exaggerate and wide. Oh, that's a lot wider. Of course, if you want something that's a little bit more definitive than the defaults there, you could go ahead and remove the table layout so you can move these independently of each other. And to remove this, we can do it independently. Once you select it, like I said, you can do it in the design view, and there's one other place. Let's go to the design view first. Right-click in a blank area, go to design, come up here, click on the arrange tab, and then go to the table group. It's got stacked, tabular, but it also has remove layout. So you get more options and features to work with in the design view. And the reason why it's not available, any of these, is because we don't have one of them selected down below so it can select the entire table. Now if I come up here, like with the tabular and stacked, when I just have one cell selected, it just affects that one cell. So when I remove the layout, well, we want to do it for the entire table here. Click on the tag. Click Remove and click off, select one. It's independent. In other words, it doesn't give us the dash line around all these and a little tag. So I can go ahead and resize that however I want, and it won't affect the others down below for the labels or the corresponding text boxes. Hover over the bottom middle resizing handle until I can see arrows pointing up and down, and then over to the right, and then, of course, when you move the text box, the label goes with it and vice versa label when you click and drag the border of that it moves the corresponding text box with it because they're together they're a couple and if you want to go ahead and give them some space because they're too close you can just go ahead and hover over that little gray box in the upper left hand corner and when you see the four-way arrow click and drag and it moves it independently of its partner and vice versa for the other partner if you want to move that independently grab its little gray box there and just like in the layout view on the arrange tab, well, you had your table over here, but you also got your position where you can control the margins, the padding. Well, if it was, you know, grouped together in a table layout, you could do it for all. Right now, we've got it just for our margins, and it's for the selected label here.
Now if you want to go ahead and have the box like around the label do an auto fit so it snaps right to it or you don't have to click on it and then try to click and drag the middle resizing handle to get right to it. Uh, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. You can with it selected come up here on the range tab go to the sizing and ordering group and click on size space and go to fit automatically fits right around it. Isn't that nice? Of course you can go ahead and select it, hover over the right middle resizing handle and double click. Automatically does a best fit or auto fit. So it's got the box snug around on the label. Or you can go ahead and hover over the border until you can see a four way arrow. Right click. You got the size and you can go to fit. That works as well. Okay we'll do it on this one. Right click. Size to fit. There we go. How about the text boxes? Well right click on the border. Size to fit. No. And why? Because we're dealing with data here and not just a static text label here because this is dynamic. As you go from one record to the next, you're going to have, well, one title be longer or shorter than the next. And like I said, if you have these things scattered all over the place and you want to be able to group them into a table, well, you can select them by marquee, click and drag in the upper corner until you can circle them in that rectangle. Let go, selects all of them come up here on the Arrange tab, again in the Design view, go to the Table, click on Stacked, stacks them all. And then one last thing while we're here on the Arrange tab, let's go back to the Table group, we have grid lines. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and click on those and see what that's about. How about if we do grid lines on the top? Go ahead and select it, click off, I uh, can't really see it, just barely here. Let's right click and go to the Form view to see what it looks like, and there you go, there's your grid lines if you want them at the top. Right click, let's go back to the design view and go ahead and click one, then click on the tag to select all of them, and then click on grid lines again. You give it color. Oh, let's go with red, and then it updates the grid lines to red. Okay, let's go ahead and right click, go to the form view. There you go. So you can get a little bit fancy. Right click, and let's go to the layout view, and click on the arrange. It's got the grid lines here as well. And then keep in mind that if I make any changes here because I only have the text box selected and, well, not everything, then it'll just update that. But let's go ahead and select everything. Click on grid lines. You can change the width of it, uh, the border, get a different type of border. But let's go to none, back to where we were, and call it a good training. Good training. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.